Um, I'm Sebastian Ruth from Community Music Works. We are so excited to be here. Um, this is a concert that we had planned for about this week of March in 2020. And guess what? It didn't happen. Um, and then we thought we might do it in 2021. And again, it was delayed, so this is a long-awaited event. Um, and so we're very happy to be here collaborating with Karim Rustam, good, good friend of Community Music Works and um, married to Chloe, our education director, um, to be working with Baja and Dorcas International Institute and, of course, the Department of Public Library. Um, and in the two-year period, um, it was enough time for to um, incubate a new work. So the first piece in this program is a newly commissioned a uh, piece by Kareem for violin, solo, and orchestra, and it will feature and honor our dear colleague Jesse Holstein in honor of two decades of uh, work at CMW. <laughs> and, um, and of course, um, in this collaboration with Dorcas International, we have gotten the opportunity to collaborate with singers who have been clients at Dorcas um, uh, and or part of the local refugee community here. So we're very, very excited to be collaborating, supported by Karim, having made arrangements um, of, of some of these songs, and, um, and our colleague Walter making one of the arrangements as well, um, and joined by Tom Parati and Matt McLaren. Um, so all of this in, front, uh, in store for us here. Um, at the end of the show, uh, there, uh, we can't really sit around and, and talk together for two reasons. One, it's COVID, so we're um, just going to leave. Um, but um, also the library closes at four, so we kind of just have to go. But it feels inhospitable not to eat at a CMW event, so there's individually wrapped baklava for everyone to take with them at the end of the show. Uh, so, uh, without further ado, this is Sostenere, uh, and we'll welcome Karim and Jesse. be brief. I'm, I'm going to talk a lot today, but I'll try to be brief. Uh, sostenere is an Italian word that simply means sustained. And when I was approached with the idea of writing a piece for Jesse um, and CMW, the concept of continuing to do something, continue to strive and struggle to try to make a change for the positive over a long period of time. Is, is really what this, this piece is about. Um, it is for my friend Jesse, who I've known for a very long time, and it's been a pleasure to rehearse it and learn it. Um, but in a broader sense, it's, this piece is really reflecting on everybody who's doing this kind of work, whether they're, they're teaching, they're fighting for uh, voting rights, um, fighting against the effects of climate change, and this kind of long, slow, hard struggle um, I want to acknowledge all of those people as well. So thank you for coming today.
So now we'll welcome uh, Nima and Ariana and Matt to the stage for Gole um, Sangam and um, just a public service announcement. We um, decided that the singers would do record tests and sing without masks. The next piece of the program, unfortunately, we're not doing today, so we'll now welcome Habib and Tom for uh, uh, an Af Afghani song. So please welcome them. Ma 
dances from a larger work for a dance troupe based in London that uh, will premiere this summer. It's, it, like everything, has, has been, this project has been delayed for uh, a couple of years. But I decided out of this larger work to pull out a suite for string quartet. And what we'll hear is two of these dances. The first, first one is called Shok. Shok is an Arabic word that means yearning. Um, and it can be yearning for, for a person, it can be certainly yearning for home, and that's, that's the feeling that I, that I had for it as well. The second movement is, is a very energetic uh, dance piece inspired by an Iraqi type of dance called Chobi. Um, so I hope you will enjoy this, and thanks again. Thank you. 
much, Karina. That was so beautiful. And um, uh, Karina wanted to share the message that you can help with the donation program that members of her church um, are organizing to support Ukraine. And so there's a flyer available as you leave. Um, and with, with ways to help this, this particular fundraising effort where they are sending medical supplies um, to Ukraine and a member of the church is actually going to travel and bring supplies to Ukraine too. So, um, so there's a link uh, on this flyer for more information. So I hope you all visit. Thank you so much, Karina. The last piece on the program actually has a long history with community music works. It was originally part of a triple string quartet uh, composed for uh, Kronos Quartet and uh, community music works, uh, chamber players, and students as well. Um, and this last movement from that piece has uh, become kind of a, has had a new life in this iteration of string orchestra. Um, and I'm happy to say it's just kind of taken off. It's been performed in a lot of different places. I've seen performances as far as Peru, Kuala Lumpur, um, and probably a few other places that I have, that I'm not aware of. But it's just um, such a thrill to be able to bring this back to its home. This is the first time I think it's being heard in this orchestration um, in Providence. So I'm happy to be able to share Depke with you. Depke is a line dance. Um, and this is inspired by a Palestinian type of line dance, so six beat line dance. I won't try to imitate it from here to here, but, but it's, it's basically. <laughs> But, but you'll hear a distinct pop, even quiet ones on the sixth beat, and, and it's just a very energetic and jubilant type of dance. So thank you again, and it's been such an honor to share the stage with, with everybody here, and I hope you'll enjoy it. Thank you. I also want to just note that this is Kareem's conducting debut. So we're so thrilled to be out.